All right, let's take it straight to the big earnings that are announced right now. Ambuja Cements uh, profit after tax coming in for the third quarter at 154 crore rupees. Remember, ET now poll suggested that it will be a slightly higher at 175 crore rupees. So it is below estimates when it comes to the profit figure of Ambuja Cements in the third quarter. And it has taken a dip of 35.8% on a YOY basis. So 154 crore rupees on PAT. Revenues at 2,095 crore rupees versus an ET now poll of 2,150 crore rupees. So as far as revenues and profits go, it has been below the street expectations and uh, revenues are down for 4.3 percent on a yy basis all right let's get some um, analysis going on these numbers that are flashing on your screens and we have with us shrenik uh, gujarati who's a senior research analyst uh, from angel broking uh, shrenik good to have you on the show from the face of it looks like that the numbers are below our expectations though a bit of margins at 14.7 percent flashing on our screens is pretty much in line with what the street was expecting where did it really go wrong in terms of profits coming in way below the 175 figure that the street was working with it's come in at 154-odd crore rupees. Um, see, the profit has come down mainly because of the lower other income. Um, we, what we were expecting is the other income to come at around 1,500 uh, uh, million. Uh, as against it, the, the company has reported a number of uh, seven, uh, 741 million. So almost the other income is uh, coming uh, coming half as compared to our estimate. So mainly because of that reason, uh, we have seen a dip in the uh, net profit level. Uh, while on the EBITDA level, the numbers are more or, lo- more or less in line with the estimates. We expected a uh, of around 319 and company delivered the number which were uh, which were as per expectation even the margins for the company are as per expectations okay so shrenik not on the operational front it hasn't really shown as much weakness as the numbers were reflecting but it's coming in from lower other income yeah. uh, component uh, but uh, weak volumes and lower prices were expected to hit the margins so is that one of the phenomenon that you are seeing though it's on expected lines but definitely that weakness persists in uh, the cement space for ambuja cements yes what we can see is the volumes uh, company has delivered a flat volume for, for this quarter uh, we were expecting a volume of 4.95 million tons as against this, the company has delivered a volume of 4.82 million tons which is almost flat as compared to uh, year on year basis so uh, we were expecting around 3.8 uh, 3.8 uh, uh, around 3 uh, 3 uh, 3% volume in, increase uh, and the realization front company has uh, done quite decent you know, and it is as per expectations uh, on the cost front the company has done better and uh, the company has reduced its cost by around half a percent on year on year basis so that's a positive for uh, for the company and because of those reasons the uh, margins have uh, came as per expectations all right hold your thoughts there shrenik we also have another uh, expert in the cement industry manish raj uh, the research analyst at dolat capital joins us also on uh, the phone line manish good to have you on the show we were just conversing with shrenik gujarati of uh, angel broking as well what do you make of uh, ambuja's numbers are they uh, below what um, you were expecting in the numbers you were working with that below our, our expectation on the top line front, but on the operational front, they have uh, delivered quite good set of numbers, 14.1% margin, which is in line with what we were expecting. Uh, the EBITDA for the quarter stood at 294 crore, uh, 294 crores against our expectation of 296 crores, which is in line. And if you take into account the uh, uh, 40 crores provision, so they could have done even better than these numbers. On the pad front, uh, below our estimate, uh, just by 5%. So uh, that is mainly because of the other income as stated by Srini itself already. So overall, a mixed pack set of numbers. We remain confident on the Amboja story so far uh, with these set of numbers. All right. So even though the uh, profits have really taken a drip, it's not uh, really coming in from operational uh, performance and not really weakness in operations of Ambuja Cements. That's the view coming in from the house. Both of you are uh, actually on the same page on that one. But Shrenik, given this kind of a number, how do you see the markets really reacting to Ambuja Ambuja's stock come tomorrow? How the shareholders going to react to that? What is the kind of movement that you're expecting tomorrow morning? We don't see any uh, uh, spike in 
in the stock or more or less the stock will be stagnant because the company has given the margins which were as per estimation and uh, whatever uh, what we can see is the company will have delivered better margins had uh, we don't had uh, the DMF uh, provisioning numbers of around 40 crore so we can see uh, some kind of positive movement in the stock in the, uh, in the, com uh, in the next trading session. Do you also expect uh, or uh, do you think that it also calls for a re-rating with this kind of a performance going forward? Would you be re-rating this particular stock? As of now, I don't think so. There is a uh, there is a kind of thing that we can re-rate the stock. Currently, we have an accumulated trading on the stock. Uh, in the last quarter, we, uh, what we have seen is the stock has uh, corrected around 15-20%. So, uh, it has provided opportunity for the investors to get into Ambuja stock. Currently, we have an accumulated trading on the stock and we would like to stick to the uh, current rating. And Manish Raj, what's uh, your view on the stock? Uh, does it call for any sort of re-rating and you remain bullish on this particular mm. company? These numbers so, do not call for any sort of re-rating. Uh, the story remains the same. So we'll continue with our accumulate rating that we are ha having as of now on the stock, despite the stock being correcting. Uh, in the last uh, three months, for last uh, three months, the correction has been around 15%. We continue to remain uh, with the accumulate rating and we think our ratings will only change when we see a material recovery in the realization or uh, uh, with the recovery in the volume growth, which we are expecting only to happen in Q4 FY16. So till that time, we believe this is how the story is going to play out. All right. Thank you so much uh, for your views, uh, gentlemen, uh, both Shreni Gujarati as well as Manish Raj for joining us with a quick take on uh, the big numbers that are flashing right now, Ambuja Cement's third quarter results. So the consensus is that EBITDA margins performance is in line with, pretty much in line with the street expectations. So they have managed to deal with their um, uh, the pricing as well as uh, the input costs pretty well in this particular quarter. As far as profits, and they have taken a dip below what the street was expecting, and that is because of uh, the lower other income and not really because of weakness seen in the efficiency or the operational front of Ambuja Cement. So that stock should be flat to positive come tomorrow morning.